Hello, hello everyone, the stream is starting. How's everyone doing today? Hopefully well. Let's see, any followers, followers off stream? Not today. We're back here with the Arachnophobia build. And also a very large turtle. Hold on. Move out of the way of the turtle. Cool. A few things have happened since the last stream. Uh, we... I believe we hit 90 on stream. Can't remember. Memory's terrible. Anyways. Picked up Profane Proxy, Despair Gem, and a new ring to go with it. Moved around my points a little bit. Not a huge amount to report, really. Grab the Written Blood Wheel. Grab the Influence Wheel. That's about it. Oh, shoot. I need the Whispers of Doom, actually, and I forgot to get that. That's gonna be a problem. This isn't gonna work very well if I can't use my my penance mark. Hmm. Well, you lasted a very short while, but goodbye. I need one more, one more. I know the accuracy rating isn't a huge amount, so moving that for now. Sell off some quick stuff, and then we are going to get going. I have some stuff planned for today. I have a Katarina stored up. I'm excited because I haven't fought Katarina yet with this character. I want to see how well it goes. Plus, I'm also kind of close to leveling, and I'm hoping that Katarina's safe house, which is 200% increased XP, is going to be enough. Let's see. Let's see if we can get to 91. That would help a lot, actually, because I've been stealing points from various places to try things out, and I'm losing. I'm losing points a bit. <laughs> I'm, also, I'm losing health, too, or energy shield, unfortunately. I'm trying to steal it from my damage, too, but that's harder than you might think sometimes. Hmm. Okay, cool. Let us show Katarina who is boss. We'll watch the spiders, nay, the piranhas eat her up. They're so good at it. Bit laggy. Why are things so laggy right now? That's not right. <laughs> She's just getting melted, though. <laughs> oh, and I'm sorry, June, but your family had an interaction with my spiders. They're having a bad day. Anything else running? I feel like I have something else running right now. Hmm. Guess not. Oh well. Let's see how much XP we can get here, because we're at 66%. Thankfully, my Seek and Destroy Spiders just 
rip through everything now. They're amazing. Even more so now that I picked up Skitterbots. The Skitterbots are actually like a really big deal. No joke, they add like 7 million DPS. I mean, it should be a little bit over 20 million now. Yeah, I think I was expecting too much by trying to level up completely from this. Give me corpse to eat, okay. No, I'm not going to stand in that. Thank you very much. I've been playing with the concept of getting Supreme Decadence, which is a keystone notable from the Elegant Hubris Jewel that allows your life flasks to affect your energy shield as well. Which just essentially would be I could use life flasks with my energy shield. Since I don't actually use life. Okay, let's watch her get eaten in, like, four seconds. This is really... I think this is going to be actually quite sad. Okay. Spiders are starting to spawn. Okay, they've all spawned. Yep. She's been phased. Jorgen's there. Okay. And Jorgen's gone. <laughs> this is a tier 16. The, uh, the spiders just do not care. And let's avoid getting hit by the thing. A bit in danger of the wave hitting me. Okay. Everyone move over here for a second. Stay safe. Hello, right. Oh, no, Riker's gone. <laughs> Didn't get to say hi. Okay, well, you're over there. It means you're going to be somewhere else. There you are. So many little skeletons. I would be concerned if they did anything but chaos damage. Oh my gosh, dude, maybe they do something else besides chaos damage. Ow. Okay. Power up this area. I feel kind of rusty with how I play this. I don't know, something's not right yet with my playstyle. Not sure what, though. I think I just lack familiarity with the build, honestly. I don't like how much damage I'm taking. Okay, right, she's right there, so over here. Yep. And goodbye. That was surprisingly easy. Like, I knew... I know spiders are quite powerful, but... Come on, I thought Katarina... A tier 16 Katarina would put up some sort of fight. Eat my piranhas, eat. Ooh, Div Scarab. Num 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 rewards. Okay, for scarabs. Cryptography scarabs. Drop stash. Chaos orbs. Okay. 
I'm so slow that I have to use my Quicksilver for last just to get around places like this. I don't even have very good cast speed. Oh, my name is Sidem. Nice, nice. I should mention, I took out Precision to put in Skitter Bots, so that's where the slot came from. Honestly, Skitter Bots do about the same amount of damage, not including the, the Curse, as Precision anyways, so it's not a big deal. I'm 200 million to a gem. Uh, actually, that would be perfect for my Awakened Melee support. Nice, that's going to level up soon. Oh, there's two of them. Uh, hmm. What could I possibly give 200 million to that would be worth it? A lot of XP. Hmm. Yeah, that's a lot of XP to give up. Put, I have to put on something. I could throw it on one of the gems I'm leveling for money. Oh, it's already leveled. Hmm. Throw on the ice shot, why not? Wait. It doesn't carry over? Oh. Wow, that is an awful mechanic. Why is it set up that way? Pretty sure that the stuff you get in the lab, like the uh, increases to, to, uh, oh my gosh, my brain's not working. The increases to gem XP in the lab. Just work regardless and let you just level up that is silly put you over there okay Need to go pick up some stuff still. Hey, Ron. Things are in pretty good. My spiders ate Katarina. It actually was kind of underwhelming. <laughs> Oh, yes, I need a gem. Uh, need an extra gem? What is, does any of this have XP? Heard level things that have XP already. Level Spectre gem, sure. How are you today, Ron? Okay, time to head home. So what I'm thinking is that we're going to do a little bit of leveling just to get the last 18% we need. And then I have two incandescent invitations, so it's two Searing X-Arch, and this time they're not tutorial ones, they're the real one. Doing well, work was kind of busy today, but at least I'm done for the day. How was your day? It's going pretty well today. Got some good exercise. Got some shit done. Trying to work out the uh, PayPal stuff for donations for the stream. It's been a bit of a thing. I'm so tempted to try the Cortex, even though that's like so dangerous.
Hmm. What do you think, Ron? Should we try the extremely dangerous Cortex to level up, or should we try a safer route? Because we could probably just do a bunch of maps. This might just eat me, though. Hmm. And it's nice. Additional Legion and Cat. Oh, this one's mirrored. <laughs> Damn it. Well, that's to be run completely. Wow, that's a surprise. Let's try to take the canyon maps and see what happens. I like canyon. Nope, not that one. Okay, what maps do I not like? Sherd is one of the ones I don't like, okay. Stagnation. I don't mind stagnation. I hope you get to relax tonight, now that you're off work. Or, I assume you're off work. Oh yeah, you said you're done for the day. Right. Ooh! More magic monsters and more rare monsters, that's nice. Nope, not doing less max resistances. I can take less armor, that's fine. I'm going to do the theoretically easiest one first, which is the one that I can't put anything on because it's mirrored. Uh, let's add Ironheart to this. Actually, wait, I can just put this over here. There we go. A beast right out of the gate. Nasty. Got nothing on my spiders, though. Oh, wow, they just melt things now. Well, we can definitely do the Wildwood, because we have no uh, nothing dangerous on this map, so... It's going to be very easy to go through with this. Might as well add some more challenge and quantity because of it. Hmm. Follow the golden brick road. Oh. Nope, there's still some more. Friend? Friend or foe? Oh, foe. Definitely foe. I love the experimental harvest. They're such good money. Oh yeah, that's a lot of money worth of stuff there. Yes, Tortle. I put up a video today, the legacy of Tortle. Or yesterday. About the life and death of our beloved Tortle. There's things that are hostile, and there's things that are not hostile. <laughs> Almost everything is hostile. The only things that aren't hostile are the things that can't be hostile. Whoa. Let's bring everyone over here. That's a bit of a mess.
Okay. You know, I'm trying. I'm trying to read what this says. He's beast keeping in the way. Okay. Map drops. I don't want any of that, actually. I mean, the evasion rating doesn't matter. Ah, whatever. That's, that's not even that much armor, actually, because I'm not an armor build. I just have portal armor. That's their useful turtle. Oh, I also have Snack. I don't think I showed off Snack yet. Everyone get over here. This is Snack right here. Oh, it's impossible to see anything with all of the things. This thing right here. It's a serpent warrior that follows you around and poisons slash withers things. They're pretty cool. I don't think I'm going to keep him forever, though, because he's actually quite squishy. Like, I don't think he'll survive us doing the Searing X Arch. I do have a nice little replacement for him, though, when he dies. Sp <laughs> Spooter, Tortle, and Snack. Yep. Maybe even more accurate to call this the Menagerie build. Everyone get away from that. Div cards! Give me div cards, give me div cards. What? That's it? Wow. That's really sad. I'm getting better at moving creatures out of the way of danger. With my convocation. I feel like that's going to be an essential skill to actually using specters because, oh boy, are some not tanky. <laughs> Oh, wow, we're already at 92%. I don't need like 10% off this already. I feel like this character levels unusually fast. Maybe I'm just good at it. I don't know. Whoa, that's a huge lag spike. <laughs> I think, I think my spiders are doing something. I don't know where they are, though. No, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. No. Legion mods are scary. Mods? Legion mobs are scary. It's 94% now. Just hit and run grab the edge of the monsters. Or did we already get... Okay, we got rid of most of the dangerous stuff, I think. Okay, let's grab you. I should probably keep moving, but I don't actually feel in a lot of danger some of these times. This character isn't incredibly durable, but she doesn't really have to be. There's 25 distractions surrounding me. I should rem. Oh. Someone's getting damaged. I need to remember to move my minions away from the strong box when I trigger it, and I need to make sure to drop brands on top of the strong box. Both of which will keep me and them alive better. I have quite a few buffs on me right now. Let's 
kill off the boss. Yeah, it's 91. Okay, now I don't have to worry about my XP. Hi, Shaper. Going to buff this boss. And now you'll never be... Oh, he's dead. Wamp, wamp. Is... Okay, for a second, I thought the boss was still alive somehow. Uh, I can do a Scorch. Whatever. Irrelevant! Uh, we should def- Speaking of, of irrelevant, we definitely should fight the Shaper at some point soon again. I think I, actually, have I even done that this league? No, I haven't done that this league at all. Probably because, like, I got strong with my Hex Blast build, and then I immediately started to go into this build. So I haven't actually done a huge amount of high-level content. You can't do something accidentally, intentionally. That's... That defeats the point by definition. That is a really dickish soul eater. Okay. That was scary for a second. I don't even know how I accidentally did it the first time. Like, it's a hell of a thing to forget about. Hmm, okay. Trial Master. Give me Miaz- oh, no Miasma. Oh, well. Enemy slain. Oh, this, this is gonna go quite well. I'm good at slaying enemies. Game is being way laggier today than usual, though. I don't know why it's acting like this. Ow. I absolutely walked into that. And that. What am I doing with myself? I need to be more careful and stop nearly killing myself. Oh my gosh, it just will not give me miasma. That sucks. I want to do the one thing that I know I can I can take no damage from because I'm immune to it. Also, I noticed something really weird between streams that I definitely want to share. So occasionally when I ooh, profane monsters, perfect. That's freebie. So occasionally when I'm flame dashing, the agony crawler, the thing that the uh, that the uh, Herald of Agony creates will pop up even though I'm not hitting things to poison them because my flame dash is hitting things and activating it. Which is weird. Nope. Nope, I'm good. Leave me alone. Nope. Nope, I'm less good. Nope, less good. Nope. Hmm. My Karen Golem's taking a fair bit of damage, which is making me wonder if my Spectres are going to take too much. So I'm going to actually bow out because I don't want my Spectres to have an issue. Uh. No, actually, they're fine. Ah, oh well. 
It was starting to get kind of challenging anyways, so that's fine. Ooh. Oh wow, this is the worst possible pinwheel design you could have for a blight with this type of character. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to put a scout tower right here and hope for the best. Theoretically, the spiders move fast enough. Oh, that is fun. It is fun watching the spiders zooming around hitting things. That is very interesting. Not perfect, though. Eh. 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 It's making me nervous, too, Passia. <laughs> Darn it. It's really hard to defend against something like that without having any choke points. Hmm. Thought there was another altar around here somewhere. Whatever. Should really not put away all my scrolls. I need those for scroll related purposes. You know what? We actually can go ahead and see what happens now with the incandescent invitations. Okay, let's see what I can add to this so that won't be terrifying. I really want to add some stuff that just does not matter to me. That's perfect. I can't take chaos damage. And weather increases chaos damage. So those are both freebies for me. Perfect. I can look into pushing my limits a bit with the next one if this one goes well. I am a bit worried about my specters, though. This might not go well for my specters. Okay, Searing Exarch. First Searing Exarch with Arachnophobia build. Penance brand. God damn it! I hate I hate that they call it penance mark as well as penance brand because it's so hard to match. It's so easy to forget. Oh no! Oh no! This is the dangerous one. Ow! I was really hoping that my minions, to some extent, would be able to handle that. Ooh, my turtle actually took a fair bit of damage. Like, that's not very much, but it is actually a lot. Yeah, I think his balls are going to be a problem. Hmm. He's a bit of a uh, ballsy character. I have an idea. Uh, can't I even use Ravenous in this fight at all? So I'm going to grab it there. Okay, so I have a totem now. The totems can block his, the stage. Those totems can tank the hits from the thing! If I 
actually do it properly. It really helps so I do it properly. Everyone recharged? Okay, good. Okay. I'm still invulnerable. Okay. Oh, I was so close to killing him originally. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. I almost killed him before he was able to unleash his great balls of fire. He was at like 10%. Well, thankfully, everyone survived that. I don't have to be too worried, I guess. Dawnbreaker. Maybe you're worth something, maybe you're not. I don't care. I need to... Hmm. I wish I had two slots to use. Because if I had two slots to use, I could put multiple totems support on these and make it a bit easier to spawn them. Don't. Actually, yes, I can. I can move this over. No, then I, then I have to redo the socket colors. I don't want to do that. You know what? Let's just hope for the best. Do this again. Yeah, we can maybe take some more dangerous options this time. I do not want that much extra life on him. No, thank you. No, I don't want bonus life on him. I can probably take it, but I don't want it. I want to find something that's just unreasonably good. Additional projectiles isn't a big deal. I don't think vulnerability is a big deal either, since he's mainly fire damage, and I don't think anything he does will chain. Unless it chains off of my minions, but I don't think it's a problem. More accuracy doesn't matter, because I don't have evasion. Yeah, I could do this. Okay, let's see if we can try to do this deathless this time. Really love to do that. If possible, we will see. Okay. Spider spawning. 10, 16. Give me more, please. 10, 20. There we go. Nope, 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 nope. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. I always confuse incineration with others. Uh-oh. No, 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 we're good. Mm -hmm. I'm so bad at this. Okay. I got suggestions in my comments from last time I did this to wait out the phase. Because apparently you can just wait it out. Okay, yeah. Okay, if you can just wait it out, that's fine. That's easy. But... Gosh. <laughs> I wish I didn't suck at it so much. Okay. He's marked, but I need the spiders to spawn. Oh, no. Nope, don't want that. Please, I need my spiders to spawn. This is not going incredibly well. Okay, so I need to rush in, immediately penance, Mark. 
I also need to have that still. Please. Okay, spiders are spawning now. Need to get out of that way. Urgh. I am playing worse this time than I was last time. Okay. Let's wait a second. So I have 50, 50 seconds till I have to move. I'm going to wait for some of his brands to go away. Because he's busy attacking me. Oh, they just respawn. Interesting. Okay, I am going to activate Penance Brand and then move. Oh, you fucker. No! I am so bad at this! I think the damage doesn't matter if you don't have the skills to actually survive. Uh. Okay. No, you're not annihilating my turtle. Yeah, my Serpent Warrior took some damage, but my turtle is fine, surprisingly. Okay. People have been like, well, you can just put up totems and the totems destroy the balls. And I'm like, well, okay, that requires skill. You are overestimating my abilities is the problem. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's easy if you're good at the game. But I'm doing it is the problem, not you. <laughs> Which, which kind of is a problem. Uh, I don't know why that fight just is so hard for me to figure out. Maybe it's because I've done so much less of that fight than I have of most other fights that I've done for bosses in this game. Meanwhile, I've been wondering something else unrelated to this. So I have Arcane Surge support here, which helps maintain the mana cost for Arcanist Brand. Uh, I don't know if I need it necessarily, though, because I realize that because I don't need to have... I want my Arcanist Brand to actually trigger slowly. I don't need any more than a level 1 zero. Brand, and I don't need any more than a level one zero desecrate. So both of these have lost two thirds of their mana cost. Flesh offering is still the same, but I don't actually need to necessarily have Arcane Surge to maintain this anymore. So what I'm wondering is if I add some sort of damaging skill, ideally some big AoE skill, it just needs to hit, it doesn't need to do much else, then theoretically. I should be able to poison things, which will give me virulent stacks, which will allow the Herald of Agony to spawn. Now, is it worth doing that? Mm hmm. But it is something to try, if nothing else. Looking through the uh, skill gems I have. Oh, I can't just search skill? Whatever. I'm just being so lazy, I could just look at them. Uh, Tornado hits fairly often, I think. Yeah, it deals damage every quarter of a second, so that would actually... That might work pretty well. I want something that hits as often as possible. But it needs to be able to be put into the Arcanist brand. And also not eat at my way at my health or anything. <laughs> I could go for Arc, it chains a lot. Which means that I could hit up to seven things each cast. It's a low cast time. Somewhere between Arc, Tornado, and 
Flare Flare Storm? Firestorm, wherever it is. Firestorm. Firestorm's pretty good at hitting a lot of things. You know what? I'm gonna add Tornado just because it sounds cool. Actually, here here's another question though. Do I want a tornado that deals I don't need it to deal damage is the thing. So would it be better in fact for me to pick a level one tornado? Let's see, what's the difference? Okay, so they both have the exact same duration and hit speed. The quality gives four, looks the quality gives movement speed and leveling it up gives movement speed. I don't really need movement speed though because I'm going to be constantly spawning and respawning the tornado because every time because the Arcanist brand is going to go Arcanist brand desecrate flesh offering tornado Arcanist brand desecrate flesh offering tornado desecrate flesh offering tornado in a circle so I don't think it's gonna I don't think it will last its entire duration before it's resummoned anyways so I'm curious let's see what happens oh yeah I was gonna do something for this okay I'm going to remove the 12% energy shield I have here and I'm gonna pick up 15% over here Cool. A little bit more energy shield. I keep glancing up and seeing the two skitter bots and thinking I have two specters, which means one died, and I'm like, no! Not again! Please, not again! Uh. I guess this is gonna be, this is gonna be really dangerous to say this, but I'm gonna try doing a boss I'm good at. Hopefully, I don't embarrass myself in the process of that. I mean, okay, this I'm doing the Elder. The Elder is not hard for me anymore. I I have managed to kill the Elder with 200,000 DPS and, like, no health because I was not good at the game and was learning. But I managed to go get through it with grit, so I'm not too concerned about managing the Elder's abilities. Okay, so there's the tornado coming up. Okay, 20 spiders, we're good. Oh, look at the Elder's health go down. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just gonna hang it over here. He's stopped. Okay, so that's interesting. So he just gets hard phased at 20%. Oh, actually, the spiders might be really good for this because I'm just going to stand here with my hands off the keyboard for a second. Yep, this is exactly what I was expecting. The spiders are so fast when it comes to clearing out the portals that I don't actually need to do anything, and they're killing enough stuff that there is always corpses on the ground for them to respawn with. So I don't actually need to do anything in this phase at all. This is literally an AFK build right now. Uh, until this happens, and then I don't want to die out of embarrassment. <laughs> okay, no, I actually do need to move. Ugh. How dare you, angry Eldritch Squids, make me move. Okay, well, I'll put on some brands. Keep up my extra damage. Keep up my tornado. Okay, Agony Crawler spawned. One Virulence. I'll hide with you. 
And so I am stacking virulence using the brand, which is good. Squode. <laughs> Anything interesting happening here? Eh. Yeah, so there's still some issues with making sure that you hit the... There's a startup time, is what I'm learning. To this build. So, if you're just dying repeatedly because you're not playing well, like I was in the... Uh, Searing X-Arch fights, you actually might be in danger of not being able to do any of your damage. So you do need some amount of skill, apparently. Which is a problem for me. <laughs> now, I, I mean, I'm good at a lot of parts of this game, but uh, not all of it. Honestly, my defenses just aren't very good. Like, I only have 5,400 energy shield. That's not very much considering how poor my ability to recover it, it is. Hey, 12, 18, uh, 20 spiders. Okay. First phase is done. I can... Can I ravenous something here? Is there any... No, there's nothing I can eat here. Hey, spiders, I need you to stop killing the portals immediately because I need something to spawn out of them. Yes, okay. There's a squid spawned. Now I can eat the squid. I can eat the squid. But I like squid. No! It deletes their corpses and I can't use Ravenous. Uh-oh. That sucks. Gonna bop drop down a bunch of brands, trigger some tornadoes. Interesting, so I seem to be getting a maximum of like three virulence. Six? Oh no, seven. I had a few there, so that means the agony crawler will actually be up, because the agony crawler eats the virulence that you get on hit. And it uses that to, like, sustain itself. Now I hide with Zana. Everyone come over here, please. Ooh. The Watcher's Eye. Nice. Pretty curiosity, how much are Watcher's Eyes unidentified? 3.4 to fine. Huh. I guess that's fair, because Watcher's Eyes can be anywhere between, like, 20 Chaos and... Amir. mirror. Let's see what we get. Hmm... That's not amazing. Okay, so... The Clarity... Skill or the clarity buff is about 29c, and the oh, that's almost a perfect hatred buff actually, which is a div or more. Supposedly, these are four divine apiece. The uh, one with a here, let's let's minimize this so. With minimum, with minimum stats, minimum rolls on both of these things, it's about a divine. So this is at least this is at least two divine. That's really nice. Good roll. Good drop. Eh, I'll put it up a bit cheap. I'll put it for three. Let's see. What else can we trigger? 
Let's try doing a shaper now. Then a bit of a boss rush. Uh, nope. I like my sanity. Hey, my spiders are at home! This is your home, friends. This is where you would usually be. Actually, you're not spawned, so you're not actually here, but, you know. Come on, we're, we're gonna go see your mama. Wherever she is. Where is Big Mama? There's Big Mama! I'm sorry, but you have to fight your mother. It's funny just having the tornado just, like, wandering around the, the uh, arena. Because, like, it's totally not part of any of the skills that I use to deal damage. It's just there because it deals hits fast. Hello, Duresso. You are not going to do very well with this. Duresso is a bit of a joke when it comes to these spiders, especially. He's just not able to withstand it very well. I actually saw, like, got to enjoy doing this in the campaign with him, and uh, he's just, it's just so funny watching him just fall apart. Like, just go instantly from one vulnerability phase to another. Are we gonna fight Brutus? Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. I vaguely hear the Shaper talking in the background. Huh. Strange. Hey, what? Oh, you're over there. Just wandered off somewhere. I love watching my sweaters just run around in circles. They're so efficient at what they do. Hello, shipper. Teleport slam. Beam. You better not eat my turtle. I'm going to be very cross with you if you do what your buddy, the Minotaur, did again. Okay, well, he's already down to two-thirds. Let's not do that. Okay, half health. We need to get back before he regenerates. No, we really don't. I will just wreck him again. Just gonna take a nice little ginger walk back. Maybe kill some stuff for XP. Wait, no, why am I leveling up my Tornado Gem? That's bad. I don't need this to do damage. What am I doing? Mm. Uh, this is not the right place.
my servant word just scares me sometimes because it has this ground pound poison scale that is quite visually impressive. Whoa. Right, I still don't have a proper bleed flask. I forgot about that. I need to fix that. Hello, Shaper. Everyone's healed up. Seriously? Immediately into bullet hell. Okay, everyone, please stay in the circle. He will kill you. Ow. That actually hurt a lot. I did not count for how slow my cast time was. Oops. Okay, everyone, I need you to heal up. Who's damaged? Oh, it's the serpent. I need to remember that this is not like a normal caster build. Like, I actually do... I do actually need to, like, wait, because I am not very fast. I wish I had more sockets, but I just don't. I'd love to put faster casting here, but I need... I guess I could put my portal in my offhand. I might need to, so I can have faster casting on Blame Dash. Whoa, what? Something hit me the instant I came in for, like, all my life. Energy shield. Okay, I appreciate your effort, spiders! But you're not actually helping. You just think you're helping. He's invulnerable. You can't hurt him. Can I mark him? Oh, I can't mark him until he's... Oh, no. Everyone stay in the circle. Stay in the circle! Stay in the circle, you fucker! Nope. He always beams you from off-screen. Teleport? Teleport! Okay. I am so much slower than I'm, than I'm planning for. I need to remember that. I am not fast. Okay, so... Phased. I, I, I miss all the bonus cast speed that I have on my Hex Blast build because of... Totem's really liking cast speed. So I just like teleport super fast and all of that and just it spoiled me. Now I'm back to like a slowish teleport speed. Actually, do I have I could hmm, I mean I can add two percent cooldown recovery. No, one percent cooldown recovery, that's it. I can't add any Cast speed to it natively. Eh. Wait, hold on a second. What's going on? Where is all my golems and all of my stuff, actually? I did not realize that my serpent warrior died and my golems died. Okay, so I am down a warrior now. That's not a big deal. He's not actually that important. I have a, a uh, Spectre that I think is going to work a bit better. That I want to use. Friend time. Teleport? Yeah, okay. I need to need to make sure I'm forecasting his stuff properly, because he's just 
Nope, stay in here. I have to be very careful. Okay, please, I need to spawn the spiders now. Okay, thanks. Okay, marked. Teleport. Ooh, I almost did not make that one. And he's dead. Oh, cool. A dying sun. Wow, that was so much less clean than it should have been. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Oh, that rolled really badly. <laughs> no. That rolled really badly. Oh, well. I got a fragment of knowledge. These are worth a div. Pretty good. On our way to being able to do Uber Elder, but not on this character, at least not yet. <laughs> Not, she is not ready for that. <laughs> I'm out of all the fun stuff. I'm out of bosses, at least. Okay, we're going to go on a quick break while I figure out what we're going to be doing. And we'll be back in about five minutes. Okay? Okay. BRB.
Hello, hello again, everyone. We are now back. And I have a tiger. I'm really excited about this. So, it is a 5% chance to grant a frenzy charge to nearby allies on hit. Hi, Ron. And that's actually pretty awesome. Let me explain why. Transitioning over to Path of Building really quick. So, the way that I have it set up in Path of Building right now, we're sitting at 21 million DPS. Now, if I add the three, three Frenzy charges that minions can get to them, it's almost 4 million damage. Each Frenzy charge... Let's see. Each Frenzy charge looks about 2.4 million DPS each. Or 1.4 million DPS each. So, if I can even get one at a time going with the Forest Tiger, then I will be doing great. I, I want to be able to select this, thank you. Cool, so I have... I have all your animals. I have a turtle, I have a tiger, spider, and a meat sack. All the things you'd expect when you go to the zoo. It would really help if I bothered to transition the screen back. That would be really nice. Okay. Yeah, I would love a fork, but I don't know if that's reasonable. Have to see. Where did that come from? Was that the tiger that made that big rush of creatures? Oh my gosh, this is the tiger doing that! That's so cool! Okay, see, I have a frenzy charge right now. Two fre two frenzy charges. Oh wait. Okay, hold on a second. If it's using this giant skill, it's probably going to be pumping out frenzy charges. I thought this was just melee attacks. Oh my gosh, this is so different. No, stop, stop leveling. I need to reset my gem now because it's level 5 and I don't want to be level 5. Oh wow, I see why these are so sought after, the tigers. They definitely, like, they're, it doesn't look super reliable yet, but they do just certainly pump out frenzy charges. Eh, yeah, I'll go back to town. No. Alright. In that case... Wildwood. Oh, I see explosions. I hate the little tiny explosions that chase you because it's impossible to see them. Ooh, 200% increased rarity and quantity. Okay, five minutes. This is awesome. Oh, this is going to be amazing. 
Uh, is there anything I can buy here really quickly? If not, I'm leaving. Okay, yep, I'll grab Serpent Warrior. I don't care, I need to keep moving because I want to use up as much of this five minutes as I can. Two hundred percent increased quantity is a lot. I did not even realize that that sort of dark gift existed. I mean, the dark gifts are pretty rare to begin with, but. Okay, getting all the wisps I can. Okay, out we go. Okay, gotta move quickly. Gotta smash through as much stuff as we can. Ooh, my carrying golem took a big hit. Sorry, friend, we're busy. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay, that's nice. I keep moving. Right? I have a Quicksilver Flask. I need to remember that. Okay, gotta keep moving, gotta keep moving. Gotta get as much as I can out of this. Over there. Oh, I got five fusing offs one thing. That's interesting. That's definitely from the extra quantity. Not as stark as I expected the difference to be, but I mean, whatever. Here, let's take some more quantity and rarity. How about that? Ooh, look at all those scarabs. Okay, we're gonna go next, this way. Pick those up in a second. I'll turn myself more stuff before I worry about... Oh no, oh no, oh no, all those things are projectiles. Projectile bad. Minute left. Darn it. Dead end. Dead end. Dead end. Bring out some extra stuff. The breach will help. I need a proper anti bleed flask. So badly. Wait, did I just see. There's a breach lord. Holy shit, there's a breach lord, and I'm so dead. I just, I got, I got so, I got too tunnel vision and I focused on that too much. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well.
the extra serpent warrior there. Go back in. I opt from uh, uh, very strict to uber strict the other day, so I'm not seeing nearly as much stuff on the ground as before. Uh, I'll clear out the stuff in this area. Head back down to pick up those scarabs. Last thing I want to do is forget about them. Though I think that the boss is down there, so I don't think it'll be a problem. Okay, having ghost creatures inside a built an underground building is weird. I should, really should just sell that flask. I lose my okay. Let's just get rid of this flash so people stop messaging. Okay, back into the map. Joking Miasma, yay, okay. The Chaos Freebie. I just need things to stay away from me because I have an aura that gives them extra damage. Or miasma. It's nice having like one or two things that I just am completely immune to. Oh, I don't. Ha I don't have evasion. Three rounds in, I still have yet to have a modifier that affects me. I love that. Oh, I should use Ravenous. Okay, I ate something. Little do you know that I am immune to the vapors. I don't need to escape them. They're like air for me. Oh no! I lost one of my specters. Stop murdering my specters! Okay, turtles okay. That's that's everything's fine. With turtles okay. He's at ninety percent health. He's fine. Golems less so. The golems are suffering. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I don't want to risk. I don't want to risk turtle. Let me guess. It's yeah. It's the tiger. Uh, oh well, I kind of saw that coming. Don't go in every direction, please. That is okay. I can deal with that. Uh, I can't control where my minions are going. Please. Please murder everything over here. Oh, no. Yeah, no, I'm fucked. <laughs> Oh, well. I forgot until, like, the second half of that that I have Convocation. Ooh, so much a bussy. Got three Abyss Scarabs. It's nice. That's a high-value perception. That's nice. Fusings. Uh, 
Why is there supposedly someone here? Little X on the map. That's weird. Ooh. It's a Zoom Zoom Shrine. Wee! Oh my gosh. Wee! LOL. Wee! Oh. Okay. There we go. No! Leave me alone. I don't think there's any really cool specters I could get from. I'm hmm. I'm gonna go check. Actually, I'm gonna go really quickly grab one of the Searing Exarch specters, or one of their corpses as specter. That's gotta be. They gotta be decent, I imagine. I'm not seeing any. Am I overriding them with my corpse walk? Did the Searing Exarch spec or corpses just explode when you did kill them? Or is that some of the other stuff that I'm seeing on the ground here? What are you? Molten Minotaur. Okay, no, they do they do spawn. Void construct. Frost Harbinger. Don't recognize some of these at all. Void Skulker, Void Construct. Take a Void Construct. That sounds cool. Oh, they're very tiny. They're cool looking, though. wonder if they have any abilities. Probably won't find out until we're actually in combat. Maybe I should take one of the big scary ones. I don't know. So many scarabs. Got to love it. I wonder if this cool stagnation, or not stagnation, I wonder if this cool um, Searing X Arch Spectre will do something interesting. I'm going to watch out to see if it casts anything. I assume it like it will attack and stuff, but like, I'm wondering if it has. OK, so it has a fireball ability. I'm waiting to see like some sort of buff appear. Well, one that I don't already expect to be there. I mean, I have a lot of buffs. Fireballs are cool, if nothing else. See, I want one of those harpy things, is the thing. What are those called? Burning... No, it's not it. Molten Imp? It must be the Molten Imps. Uh, uh, went to grab that. Did my my meat sack die? Didn't he? He's in this pile. Oh no! In the big pile of crap. I need him for his health buff. Where is he? I do not like how specters work. I have to say, I really do not like it. Like, this is so obnoxious. Like, looking for this specter somewhere. Let me just, like, capture them or something. Like, make them in my... Have them in my inventory. Yeah, I think he's just gone. 
Okay. Well, that's not how it's supposed to work. It's supposed to drop the specter. But I guess it got overwritten or something? I don't know. Not a huge fan of how that works, that's for sure. <sighs> okay. What do we have here? I don't actually want any of those. I keep hoping I'll see him somewhere. Okay, we'll have to replace him now. Uh, okay, maybe this is a good time to replace him. <laughs> I don't have any more, darn. I'm extra turtle and extra tiger. I'm going to hold off on changing anything yet. I'm okay. If my turtle looks in danger, then I will got I will buy one. But otherwise, I'm I think I'm okay. Right to the wildwood. Yeah. I love having the the immunity buff from the giant turtle. I love it. Turtle is actually like an extremely good creature. Like, it's really useful. It's making you wonder what it'd be like to have an entire team of Spectre Turtles, because I can go up to... I think you can get up to, like, ten... Why am I a blob? Weird. I know you can get up to, like, ten-ish Spectres, so I can have, like, ten Turtles following me. But the problem is they're incredibly slow, so... That might not be really worth it. Perfect Sangomancers aren't really worth much. I'll take the Matriarch. Some really cool Spectres in this game. Unfortunately, the system for Spectres is awful. Even with the ability to have itemized Spectres now, it's just really, really bad. It's hard to... It's, it's, it really sucks that, like, your specters can just get deleted, more or less, on the game's whim. I mean, I'm, I, I think just about every content creator has talked about how bad specters are in their current implementation, so I don't really need to parrot what they're saying exactly, but they're bad. Spectres are bad right now. They do a lot of damage. They're very useful. But, dear god, their implementation is awful. No! No! I need a proper anti-bleed flask. This is awful. And next time I go back to town, I need an anti-bleed flask. Before it gets me killed. Or after, potentially. We'll see. <laughs> Ideally, before. Things are getting messy. There we go. So many effects on screen. Uh. Trying. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, that's giant. What the fuck? Oh my gosh, that's. Did they. Okay, they killed it. Okay, that was a soul eater. I, I hate soul eater mobs. And their potential to become borderline immoral. Man, I wish there was a giant frog enemy somewhere that I could get. 
and they expect her out of fire. Anything? Okay, this away here. Boom! Wow, with the acceleration shrine and a quicksilver, it is so ridiculous. Wow, the tornado is maintaining virulence surprisingly well. I don't know if it actually matters, because, like, I don't know if the Agony Crawler actually does anything of note. Like, I, like, I know it can be good, but I don't deal a lot of poison down. Like, I don't deal poison down to myself, really. Like, I have the potential to poison things, but that's it. It's all the minions. Cleared most of this map now. Cassia. Makes sense because I used a Blade Scarab. Remember Dependence Mark. Oh. Hello. Ah! Okay. Right, anti-bleed flask. That was yet another demonstration of why I need anti-bleed flask. God damn it, I wrote past it. I'm so bad at that. That's why I go quiet, because like, I'm trying to focus so that I don't do that. I get impatient and I go way too quickly. Oh my god, I rode past it again. Uh, why am I so bad at this? You go super slowly. I'm gonna get it this time. Come on. Perfect attack speed. Not very useful to me, though. There it is. Okay, corrupting blood immunity. Good. I'm mostly able to avoid freeze now. I have, where is it? 33% chance to avoid and then 49% chance. So, two. 82%, so I need an 18% chance to avoid freeze. This flask. Or just in general, really. Eh, whatever. It's fine.
I'm no longer in danger. At least as much danger. Let's see if I can do this blight. Oh, God. <laughs> Why did they have to go in every direction? No. Ugh. I'm so displeased. Okay, fine. I'm surrounded with fire towers then. And to regularly bring them back to the center so that they can clear out anything nearby. Like that thing, for example, that they're not clearing out. Come on. Come on. Nope. I am getting bad layouts, but god, I, I, this build is just not meant for it. Just not meant for Blight. Okay, I need to clear out down here. Thank you, Einhar. Now come with me. I wonder if he gives Boon of the first one to players or to everyone. I think we're going to call it after this map. This will be our last one. We're nearing the two-hour mark. We got a lot done this stream anyways. Quite a lot of bosses, surprisingly. Got stomped by a lot of bosses, too. Uh. This build is so weird, like, theoretically, it should be really good for bossing. And I think it is. I think I'm just not good at bossing with it. <laughs> okay. Rookie Miasma. My minions aren't as immune to chaos damage as I am, so I need to actually keep them kind of away from the Miasma. Oh, so I'm going, cool. Thankfully, the turtle moves slowly, so he kind of stays where he's put. At least to an extent. <laughs> Rather they not be able to block. Oh, this is survival. Uh I just, like, pile things in the corner and protect me that way? Ugh. That would murder me. 
losing 10% of my energy shield on hit is... That, that would mean that every hit would do a minimum of 530 damage to me. That would be awful. I think this is the last round for me. Things are getting a bit... But, like... That's also good? <laughs> Damn it. Uh... Eh, whatever. I have 7% XP. If I die, I die. Let's do this. And not die, ideally. Nope. Well, I do need to stay in the circle to get progress. I don't have to stay in the circle forever. Yeah, I I am the safe choice usually. That's just how I roll. Any cool diff cards? Not really. I believe there's a valuable unset ring. Pariah, maybe? Oh, Profane Proxy! I just bought one of these! <laughs> That's funny. I'll have an extra one if I need it. My extra Matriarch in there. And we're good. Dead demons everywhere. <laughs> okay. Oh, I feel like we got a lot of stuff done in a very short amount of time. Thank you all for watching. For those on YouTube, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to see more content. And feel free to leave a comment if you have any idea for future videos. I would love to hear what you have to say. Or if you want to comment on just how badly I am at bossing. <laughs>